Hello, hello, my beautiful sensitive people. I'm gonna do a quick video now where I talk about the tarot reading I did uh, tonight on Giseline Maxwell. I wanted to throw on her, I, I did th another throw on Jeffrey Epstein and I'm still seeing that it was a suicide and there's a couple of things that were clarified when, um, <laughs> When I meditated on Giseline Maxwell and I threw her cards, um, it was interesting getting into her head, talking about someone who's sociopathic. Um, she saw him, you know, what I heard her saying is that she saw him as a tortured uh, person, that she was somebody who understood him and that she, and she that I, and that yes, you got it right. It was very much an addiction I never judged his addiction, quite the opposite. I helped him. I wanted to keep him happy. That was my job. So Giseline Maxwell viewed her job with uh, Jeffrey Epstein as wanting to keep him happy, loving him very much, understanding him, understanding that this was a need, and showing her love for him by procuring these girls. Like, see how far I can take my love for you. So, so there was this sick aspect to the relationship where she was proving to him, I accept you, I accept this side of you. And um, it was a very twisted love in that respect. Um, and she talked about the fact that it is her job to procure and make things uh, pleasant for people and to help people. She said, for that reason, I've created a lot of enemies, but I've also created a lot of friends. She said, this is why it's hard for me to say that I am one of the people that gave Jeffrey Epstein up. So, uh, so she evidently assisted in the arrest and in building the case against Epstein. So they already, according to this remote, Giseline Epstein betrayed Epstein. That's that's how she is saying it. She, she worked secretly in such a way to undermine him. She said, she also said, I knew he could not survive prison. Prison would have destroyed him. He knew he was never going to get out. So the fact that Epstein, first off, he was pressured to do it uh, by by friends and people who he had compromised. And secondly, uh, he could not survive prison. He could not survive the harshness of prison. And so for that reason, uh, he took his own life. When he was told that he would get a minimum sentence of 64 years, he, that was when he became suicidal. And when the tapes came out and you realized that it was going to be 64 years, that's when he took his own life. But as I hear it, and the energy of Giseline Maxwell, she's saying that it doesn't surprise her because he was a tortured, tormented man. And he could she knew he could not survive uh a harsh environment like like prison all right so um that's what i'm getting and uh if i find anything out thing else out i'll let you know peace out bye